All right, first thing that we'll do is create a text. I'm using this font right here and I'll put the link in the description for you if you want to download it. You can scale it up and stretch it vertically like this. Now right click on it and pre-compose it. Let's create a solid layer. So right click, new, solid and just click OK. First effect that I'll put on the solid layer is fractal noise. So change the type to max, contrast to 200 and brightness to minus 10. Next effect that we'll add is CC blobby lace. Open up blobbiness and set the blob layer to your text and change the cutaway to 35. Then open up light and change the light type to point light. And now you'll be able to control the light by moving it around. Go at the start and move the circle to the left and make a keyframe. Then go at the end and drag the circle to the right. And you want to change the height to 100. Let's go back to fractal noise real quick and open up transform. Uncheck uniform scale. Now scale width and scale height are separated. So leave the scale width as it is to 100 and just bring up the height to 400. I'll animate the evolution by holding ALT and click on evolution stopwatch icon. Type in time 100 so that way we added a little animation to fractal noise. Last effect that I'm going to add on solid layer is CC glass. So open up surface and change the map to your text. Bring the softness down to 10, bring up the height to 100 and set the displacement to 0. Now open up the light and I'll just change the light direction to 40 and the rest of the settings I'll leave it as it is. Ok, highlight both of the layers and pre-compose it. So I didn't record this but I changed the text to lowercase and I also added two scratches overlays. And I pre-composed them as well so that's why you are seeing two layers. Ok, now add turbulent displays on the pre-composed text layer. Go at the start, set the amount to 0 and keyframe it, then go at the end and increase it. Go back to the start, keyframe offset, move at the end and increase it like this. Alright, now when we are done with the text, let's do the rest. We can add some visuals to it and stylize it a bit. So choose the footage you want to use, duplicate it and rotoscope the top clip. Once you're done, click on freeze, increase the feather and decrease the shift edge. That way we'll remove sharp edges and it will just look better in my opinion. Add the text you just created in the middle of two clips. I applied Lumetri color to top clip and change it to black and white because the original video had color changing and it didn't look good so I just made it black and white and I left the background as it is. Then I added this overlay below the rotoscope clip and text. As always I'll mention in the description everything that I'm using so check it out if you are interested in that. I created an adjustment layer and I applied noise, set it to 10 and uncheck use color noise. I copied two scratches overlays that I added earlier and I placed them below the rotoscope clip and text. And I added this overlay as well and I trimmed it so it lasts as long as the first one which is 9 frames. Then I pre-composed everything and now I can add more stuff to it. First thing that I want to add is shake. I'm using the shake sauce for all of my edits just because I think it's the best plugin that's out there. And I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. I believe it's on sale right now and if you use my code Kaga, you can get additional discount. So that's pretty awesome. But if you prefer some other plugin or a preset, just use that. Um, whatever works best for you. Ok, so I'll move right about here, that's 6 frames and I'll make a cut by holding shift ctrl D. Then go at the start of the first clip and we can add shake. I'll click on keyframed option and I'll go with something like this. And everything is already keyframed so I won't be changing anything. Alright, now I'll click on um, the second part of the clip and I wanna add something from the energy pack. So first effect that I'll add is hue strobe. And what that does is changing the background colors. Now my subject is in black and white color, so I could add this on pre post clip like I just did. But if your subject is in its original color, you'll need to double click on the pre post layer and then add the effect on the background clip only. Next effect that I'm going to add is camera movement. And then I'll open up CRT pack and I'm going to use something like this. Anyway, I think that I'll leave it like this. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I wanna hear what you think. So leave a comment down below and let me know if you have tried creating this text before. And also let me know about the visuals at the end. Would you change or add something? I really appreciate your feedback. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.